Hello, hello, hello. There's our gorilla guy. <laughs> Look at this. We're going to have so much fun today. First of all, let's see. How many brand new people do we have on today? Give me half the face if you're brand new, if this is your first time. Do we have any first time people? Hey, Amanda, welcome to the class. And Zane, I've always wanted a student with starting with the letter Z so I can have a letter Z down there. Hello, Zane with letter Z. What a cool name. Everybody, uh, everybody, let me open up the chat box. Everybody, welcome Amanda and Zane. Can you guys all? And Zane and Amanda, tell us where you're from. Look at it all saying hi to you. And if everybody can take your, your uh, look at the screen here, okay? There's that funny looking arrow at the top. You guys see that little arrow right there for you new people? For Zane and Amanda, see that funny arrow? Uh, go to the map and click that funny arrow, and we're going to enlarge the map. Once everybody has the map full screen, uh, give me a... Uh, Give me a, a happy face. And Zane and Amanda, your emotional icons are at the bottom. That's your emoticons. That's how you respond to me. So, Amanda, give me a happy face so I know that you know what I'm talking about. Hey! And then Zane, give me a happy face so I, know, so I know you know what I'm talking about. There we go, Zane. How you doing? Boy, you guys pick up fast. That's great. All right, well, you know that tonight's class, as we scheduled, new time is not, uh, it's not 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. From now on, Monday's classes are 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 7 p.m. all central time. Wednesday's, or um, that's Monday's class. Tuesday's classes are 10 o'clock in the morning for many marshmallows ages 5, 6, 7, and anybody who wants to go real slow and have fun. And then 3 o'clock tomorrow, and at uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, this week's all about gorillas. We do the same lesson, uh, and I do it six times, but we make little variations, little changes, little little adjustments and technique ideas, and we introduce new ideas in each lesson. So i love you to come to all six, but at least once a week, okay? <coughs> let's, uh, let's check the math out here. Once you have the map, uh, look at that. We have a lot of kids all over the country today. That's so cool. Hello, everybody. Let's lock the text and let's see where everybody's. Uh, can we draw a picture of you today? <laughs> this is an hour long. It is one hour long. And uh, I'm going to switch the camera so I can say hi to you guys. I just love having you guys all over the country. So shrink down your map and enlarge the gorilla face. Now, look, I'll do a side by side. Okay, look at the gorilla and then look at my face. You can see it's very similar. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to switch cameras. Okay, there's the gorilla face, and then here's my face. This is, you see, look, Tolly, I look, I look Tolly like the gorilla. <laughs> you see, I look at it from the top and bottom of my head. Now watch this, halfway down from the very top of my skull. Watch, halfway down, is the eyes, and then halfway again is the mouth, right? See that? Half, then half nose, and then half again is mouth. So, uh, we're going to use those same uh, same measurements when we draw the gorilla. So let me switch back. I just wanted to wave to you guys. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Really great to have you here today. i got a busy lesson for you, so let's jump right into it. And uh, we're going to draw the gorilla, and we're going to draw the yellow pencil club level. Here's our last lesson. Here's what we did the last lesson. We did it really had fun with the gorilla. See that? And then we drew the yellow pencil club level. We did our timed level. Then we talked about level two, three, and four. Unless here's level four. And here's level five. We didn't quite finish. We ran out of time. So let's, uh, right in the middle of our, our paper, let's start with that awesome gorilla drawing. And we'll rock and roll. Now, uh, here's where the, the gorilla got started. I, I, I had Mr. Mighty Mark. I had my little clay puppets that I, you know, hello, hey, how are you for my online class, right? Well, I brought this guy with me to New York, and I was doing a workshop, and on the way home, I dropped him on the airplane, poor Mighty Mark, and it broke his head off, so, I, so his head fell off. And so I went and bought some Gorilla Glue, and I glued it. You can see how it's all kind of glued on there. But it, it is a, it's a sort of great glue. But I look at that picture of the Gorilla, and I go, oh, I love that Gorilla. I want to draw that Gorilla. But then it reminded me of this, uh, the Gorilla I have in this book. Does anybody have this book right here? Give me a happy face if anybody. Does anybody have that book right there? By uh, drawing in 30 days, it's a good book to get. Yeah, I get it from Amazon. It's a good, good drawing in drawing in 3D. Mark Kessler and uh, the gorilla. You see the gorilla. This is your assignment if you do have the book. 
Uh, I'd like you to practice this. You have to turn to page uh, during the week, page 109, and see what, what the steps of the gorilla. See that? Isn't that fun? See that? And I'll focus a little bit more. Isn't that fun? All right, so that was another version. So I got inspired to draw the front facing version, but I remembered, oh, yeah, I did that in that book, drawing a 3D. Well, then I started going through all my how to draw shelf. I have so many books and tapes here. This is a how to draw. I love the gorilla. Look at that guy, huh? Look at that. This is by Marshall Van Druff. How to Draw Animals with Marshall Van Druff. Now, I haven't seen this yet. It's in my pile of things I want to look at. I just bought it. And, of course, we all know Animalia, right? This guy with his illustrations. See the gorilla down here? And then look at his, if he turned to G, he, he does this amazing. Uh, I would love to have him. I would love, you know what, I'd love to have uh, uh, him as a guest artist. Look at, look at the gorilla. Isn't that nice? Look at the grill over there. Look at that grill. Look at that one. Does that give you some ideas? Love it. I just love it. So that's uh, um, Graham Base Animalia. See, if you don't have that book, I totally recommend you get it. Or if you don't have that book, this is by a really cool author named Mark Kistler. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Awesome book by Mark Kistler. All right, so you have your blank piece of paper, and we're going to put the whole lesson. We're going to put the whole lesson together. All right, on one page. Now, do you guys have? Uh, give me a happy face if you have your. Uh, give me a happy face if you have your drawing journal. You guys using a drawing journal? or a sketchbook or something. Okay, cool. Keep all your drawings page by page. Now, when I started drawing this, this was my first practice one, because I had been years since I drew a gorilla. Then I did this one, and it looked, looked like my brother. And then I did this one, and it looked like my other brother. And then I did this one. I did like page and pages of the, and this is actually the one that we use on the newsletter. Did you guys, are you getting that weekly newsletter? Did everybody get my newsletters once or twice a week? I send out little notes to you guys. You get those? Give me a happy face or a sad face. If you don't receive the newsletter, give me a sad face. Uh, then, uh, Julie, then you need to send me an email, Julie, to make sure you get it. And I'll start, I'll make sure we'll, we'll see what's going on. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I learned this from Rod Thornton. I'm going to start with a circle for the gorilla's face, right? Start with a circle. And then I'm going to put another uh, circle down here for his uh, upper lip, his nostril, his jowl, right? I'm going to kind of shape this, this kind of oval, tall oval. And we're just shaping and blocking it. It's not going to be perfect your first time. It's okay. Just just practice and you're going to get better and better and better. Remember, mine, my first time, looked like he was, the gorilla was uh, a scared goat. Now, the gorilla has that, that tall, the, the high head, so I'm going to put a, a point up here. And I'm going to have the the, the shape of the head, the shape of his head coming down. See, I'm just blocking it, just really, really light, sketchy, and then I'm going to kind of have his, the jowls come out a little bit, the side of his cheeks, right, coming down here. And it's going to end about right here. See what I did here? See, it looks like a pear. See, it looks like a pear shape. So I'm going to have the forehead, and it kind of goes out here at the where the cheeks are. All right. There's our shape. Now, give me a happy face if you just have your rough shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember. We're just looking for scribble, 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 sketch, sketch, sketch. All right. Believe it or not, that's what we're going to draw. See? The head's higher and the chin. We're going to sketch on Now, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to break it into components. Let's take a look at my, uh, you can draw in 30 days book. I'm going to go back here to when, where I was drawing the, the human face. And look at the mathematics here, okay? See, we took the face, the pear shape, but ours is going to be more of a gorilla pear. But we're going to do the same separation. Look, we're going to do half, then half again for the nose, and then half again for the mouth. And then we'll adjust it as we go, all right? And this, look at this. See, see what I did? See, half from the top is the eyes, and halfway down again is the nose, and halfway again is the 
is the uh, lips, or the, the mouth. And then we ended up drawing this, the beautiful anime girl. All right, well, so let's do half, half, half. So I'll start at the top. And I like the idea um, of doing freehand. You can use rulers, of course. I'm just, I like freehand. I just love it. You get more comfortable. You don't always have to carry rulers with you. Just get some lines going across here so we can do the measurements, okay? So now I'm going to freehand draw a vertical line. Look at my, my line slanting and all that. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's just fine. All right, so from the top and the bottom, that's going to be our size. And we want to go halfway, so just eyeball about right there, about halfway, all right? Then between half again, all right? And then we're going to do it half again here again. Okay, halfway again. So this is going to be where the eyes go across, or the, the eyebrow right here. Okay, this will be the nostrils. See this? So I'm getting the grid down here. And then about right here is going to be. I might put the the. I might put the lip a little even lower than that. It just depends. You can adjust it as you as you go, and, and fix it. All right. All right. So we have our the top of the scroll, the bottom of the chin, the height, half, half, half. So let's start, and then we have to draw a center line so we know where the eyes and the nostrils will go. Look, I'm doing it all freehand. Is that fun? All right. Give me happy face if you have your your face all blocked in here. See, getting a, getting a map, kind of map it in here. Now, I really hope you guys take pictures of this and email me after you're done. You want to see somebody or just send me a picture? This was awesome. I got to show you this. Look at this morning. Somebody sent me a photo, and I feel so popular because I'm getting emails from you students, and you're sending me photos, and they're awesome. Oh, we got a new student sign up for Ginger Cook. How cool. I love that. Ginger Cook's classes start. Oh, look, we got another a new student for... Um, Rodney Thornton, two teachers starting. Ginger Cook starts next Wednesday. How many of you knew that Ginger Cook was starting her class next Wednesday? For every Wednesday, she's teaching painting. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. I'm getting a little off track here, but I got excited because uh, we got the students for. Um, yeah, I, I know you're raising your hand, but I want to show you this picture. So hold on. Here is. Uh, all right, hold on. I want to show you this. Oh, here's the. This is from. Uh, here it is. Look, this is from uh, Kyle and Dita. Kyle and Dita. Look at their gorilla. Isn't that cool? You give me a happy face if you think that's awesome. That is Kyle's drawing. Look at that gorilla. Okay. And then here's his mom's gorilla. That's Mama. See that? There's Mama's gorilla. Isn't that great? I'm so proud of you guys. I hope. Look at that. And there's Kyle's gorilla. And uh, let me see. How old is Kyle? You can tell me. All right, so let's get back to back to business here. Let's look at our. This is our goal. Here's our source. Here's the idea source. All right, so keep keep that handy. So let's go ahead and draw the eyebrow. I'm going to draw the eyebrow here, and we can put the curls and everything on it in just a second. So I'm going to draw that big eyebrow. Excuse me. Now, I'm going to mute it for a second. Okay, is this fun? Building up the anticipation. I'm going to focus a little bit. So there's the eyebrow. And then I'm going to make the eyes. It's kind of a small eyes at first. Let's draw the eyes. It's, you can draw a little bigger if you want later, but start with small. I always end up drawing a super big. This is what happens when you draw them big. It looks like he's scared looking at the headlights. These are smaller. See, that's I like that better. So let's draw his eyes. And then right down about right here, uh, it's going to be his nostril, so I'm going to put a nostril right here. I'm going to put a nostril right here, right below the eyes. Almost about the same size, huh? Looks like they're about the same size. Now let's see. Let's see if that's right from the source. The eye and the nostril. Actually, the nostrils are smaller than the whole eyeball, so I'm making my nostrils a little bigger. That's all right. So let's go ahead and put the outside, put the thickness of the nostril. All right. Give me happy face when you're that far. You guys got that so far? So you got your eyes. And then inside, got that? OK, now inside here, inside here, watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the, the nose come up from the inside of the eye socket. Watch this. It's going to come down right here. I'm going to curve it down, and it goes over toward, toward the left nostril. And then this eyeball, look at the socket, comes over here. 
and it comes over toward the right socket. It's just a little bit like that. And here is a good spot right here where you're going to put a few of these curvy contour lines. And we'll be referring more to these. See these? See these go more and more as it goes back. See all these lines back here? Now watch this. Underneath, I'm going to make the eye, I, I'm going to make this, this is, is that going to be the eyeball or the socket? I think that, I think I'm going to make that, I'm just looking at here, let me just take a look. If I made it a little bit smaller, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to draw some curves. I'm going to draw some contour lines. See these curves underneath the eye like that? See, see this? And uh, since that'll be the socket, I'll go ahead and draw that darkest. And then here's the, the iris, the eyeball inside, right? There's the eye. Draw the eye inside there. And then the, here's the pupil. I'll make the pupil even smaller inside there. See that? And I have to back up because my glasses are... so. We have, uh, I'm going to put a little reflection inside there. Okay, a little reflection. Isn't that fun? See, now what, the reason I was hesitating is I, I, I was looking at this drawing, and I was looking at this drawing, and I was thinking, now do I want the, I'm going to try to make a little eyes a little bit smaller. My eyes, my eyes tend to be big because I'm such an exaggerator, but I really, I just love these, this, this, I want to really get to this artist version. This, so you could take a package of, of glue and it could be an hour lesson. You could take a, a stuffed animal, you look at this, you could take a stuffed animal of a penguin and you could put that in front of you and draw that. Someone had to draw that first. You could take a stuffed duck. Look at that. That could be your model for the day. You can take any ideas. Look at some of my students took a soup can and made it into a three-dimensional puppet for me to use. So you never know where inspiration is going to strike you. You never know. You always have to have your pencil and your sketchbook handy and your idea bank open, your brain open for the opportunity to be inspired by the world around you. Okay? Inspired by the world around you. That's a... Get inspired by the world around you. You know what? Let's write that right here. Let's get inspired by the world around. Get inspired by the world around me. Write me because that's you. All right, so here we are getting inspired by a, uh, a gorilla on the side of a uh, uh, package. All right, so now I'm going to take I'm going to take the gorilla. Where's my reference here? All right, let's pull the nose down, and then I'm going to have the uh, lip here. This will be the top of that top of his lip, right? And it's going to curve out from about right here. I'm going to have it go out from about right here. I'm going to have it go out. And I'm going to kind of curve it down to his mouth. See that? See how that goes here? You can make it more round if you want. Then I'm going to put a little lip down here and have it go up. Okay, looking pretty cool, right? Now, darken in that nostril. Darken that in and get it lighter and lighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this open here, get rid of that center line, and you can see, uh, well, I actually need that, don't erase that, I need those guidelines. Um, you can see, see these lines right here, look at this. You can, you can see how you would use this for a hippopotamus or a camel or a giraffe, That's that face if it's coming right at you, you can to see how it would be transferable, that same shape. So let's darken it. I'm going to use cur uh, little circular shading lines. Get a lighter. And we'll use a, a blended stomp in just a second, okay? I'm going to get this. All right. Uh, now, I hear somebody raving their hand. Okay, stop raising your hand. I, say, I know that you're there. Give me a, uh, a happy face if you guys are with me, or a sad face if I'm going too fast. Okay, there we go. That's what I want to see. Now, it looks it looks a little funky to begin with. That's all right. And we're going to build it as we go, okay? We're going to build it. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow right here. Put a little bit of a shadow under his lip here. 
And I'm going to put a few more of these wrinkles around his eye here. Now, since this, this is going to be his, his eye socket here, right? So watch this. I want to get it really dark. I want to get it really dark and set that eye underneath there. Look at this. Get it really dark up underneath the eyebrow. See that eyebrow there? Isn't that fun? And you're going to blend it down. So we'll get it really dark. Really dark here. And then, now from coming from the outside, watch this. This is going to be where the fur is. The fur is going to come up to right here. We're just going to come up. It's going to come about right to where that blocking circle was. About right there. And uh, I'll have it go to right there for this one. Okay, now on this one, <coughs> I had the fur line come to the top of the nose, but I adjusted. Let's just see how it looks on this one, okay? All right, so we got our face. You with me? Do you like it so far? We got the gorilla face going. Looking pretty cool. Happy face. All right. Now, right, right up here. Let's clean this. Clean this, and then I'm going to put the ears. The ears are right above the eyebrow, off to the side over here. A little off to the side. I'm going to move this one over just, just a little bit, about right there. That's where I want to move that one. Put the little helix in the culture. All right, it's got his little ears, and for the. Uh, Fur. You know what? On his chin, I need to lower his chin just a bit. Look at this. I'm I'm going beyond my I'm going beyond the fur that I already drew. But that's all right. Now, and his shoulder is going to be about right even with the eyebrow here. I'm going to go up just a bit, and there's he's kind of hunch his shoulder. Look at that. Look at this shoulder guy here, looking cool. All right, now all the fun. Oh, oh let's zoom in on the face. I want to do a couple more contour lines here. This is the center line. Now watch this as this eyebrow curves away. Look at these. See these curve, curve these lines. See this? This is uh, you're looking straight at it, but it kind of bends around. So I'm going to curve these contour lines, curving opposite. See this? See, it's like a tube. It's like a tube above his head. And then they get really dark under his eye, right here along the nose. Got to get more, a lot of shading in there. Let's really push that in. Really get that dark. I'm going to, in fact, do the whole area here. Let's get it all dark here. Blend it down. All right, now, from here, what I'll do, from each point, I'm going to draw the fur. So I'm going to curve the fur out. I just started here from each of these little areas, corners. See what I'm doing for the fur? I want to get the pattern down. See, look what we're going to end up with, you see? See, I started here, and I started here, and I started here. So look at the same idea, see, as, it, as we build up the style. So let's curve it out. Curve it out. Isn't that fun? And then just keep you fill it in. You're going to add more. These are all contour lines. This is a wonderful texture. See right up to the right up to that, that uh, eyebrow. See that that eyebrow, and then, uh, then I'll start curving the top. See how the top of the hair. See that nice, that wonderful texture right there. See now that was from the package. See how the package it kind of see how that texture. I just saw that, and I thought, oh, that's such a neat pattern. So I'm gonna pull it over the ears and. Get, get it all curving away from the center, see? Now, this, this is the part you just have fun with. Just take your time. Very relaxing. So you can add all that, all the fur. Well, I'm loving it. You guys loving it? Let me open up the text box, see how you're doing. This is a pretty big class. Look at Look how many people we have. That's cool. We have over one million people. Whoa. Let me open up the text box. How you guys doing? How's it going? You love it? Do you love the tra transformation from a simple line drawing to a more advanced drawing? Okay, well, let's curve this. Let's draw the fur. And we'll just add more detail as we go. 
Let's curve these lines here. Uh, good. You're done. Well, it, just what I want you to do is spend ten minutes just just detailing the fur. Just take your time. See, some of our drawings will do four or five drawings per hour, but some of them look at this, like this one. This one is so cool with the texture. We really want to. Like, look at how Marshall Van Druff. Look at it. Look at his texture. You see on that video cover. You see that wonderful texture. The see the fur. So I'm gonna. Right now, it looks like a shield. It looks like it's a wooden mask. But I want to make it more furry. So let's take my time and let's leave that ear. We've got to make sure you can see the ear. See, I'm going to take my pencil now and I'm going to add more detail and darken it in. Okay. Can you hear my pencil lines? I put hundreds and hundreds of lines. I draw real. Oh, cool. Yours looks mad? Yeah. Well, so that'll happen. Yours will look mad some, if you put a, like a curving down just a bit of that furrow, the furrowed brow. I want to put a little more shadow under here. See that? Make sure you can see it's, it's underneath there. Tuck that in a bit, see? And it's okay if it looks mad. Now, who's going to take a picture and email it to me after you're done with the lesson? I'd love to see it. If you guys want to, uh, send, send me an email to Mark at markkissler.com, okay? A little bit of a couple of little of these. See that the edge is kind of is jagged. See where the hair is? And then I'll, I'll darken it more along the base here. And I'll see just more and more texture as you go. I got to darken around the face and add more texture. You loving it? Take your pencil. We're going to use our stump in a second here, but I just want to really, really get around the face. I like to put more contour. More. I like these wrinkles here a lot. See that? You could take your finger. Look at. I'm going to use my finger and kind of tone it in here. Look. See what I did? Take my finger and kind of blend it. Kind of blend that hair. And now, now watch this on the, the chin. I'm going to take this. The one hair is coming straight towards you, but watch it as it curves away from you. Let's let me let me clean up this first real quick. Now watch this. Where's my where's my handy brush? Need my brush. Need my brush. Always keep your brush handy, right? Now here's the center line. So watch this. These these hairs are going to be curving down this way, and these hairs will be curving the opposite way. See, coming down to the chin. See, see that? See how that comes around here? See, just like if remember when we were drawing that bagel, and we had to curve the lines of the bagel, the texture of the bagel, right? And then I'll draw the outline, kind of a jagged outline edge. All right, looking cool. Now, let's draw uh, these shoulders. I'm going to put the hair, see, the texture on the top, jagged edge. Here's the texture of the fur. And then we'll draw the individual textured hairs. Isn't that fun? I get it really dark under here. I want to separate it, and we'll blend that. It'll make it look much more organized here in a second. But see, I want to get all these hairs going in that direction. See that? It just takes it takes a lot, and you can take your finger and kind of tone it in just a bit. Or <clears throat> look at this. You got your stompy. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of stompy, just a bit, just a tad. I don't want to make it too muddy. I don't want to make it muddy, but I want to blend it a bit. Now, cool, that is a lot. Make it all. I'm going to lock it. I've been missing all your... <coughs> I'm going to see here. Oh, that's cool. I, I missed all the text. Mine looks like, oh, 
I drew a superhero earlier today. I'm glad that is a picture of me. That is funny. I'm looking at all your text messages because I forgot I left the text box open. All right, let's. Uh, I fill up a lot of sketchbooks. That is certainly for sure here. But I hope you do too. I hope you fill up a whole bunch every day. Hey, if you guys want to come back tonight and draw another gorilla with me, this is fun. Uh, tonight we're going to draw more gorillas and more yellow pencil club levels. Remember, there's 99 club levels of success. And if you uh, uh, learn those levels, now look at down there, look at you can pull up the, uh, uh, take a look, hey, shrink, shrink this for a second. Would you shrink this? So you have four squares. Once you have four squares, give me a happy face. And... Uh, I am going to, I'm going to see, I think I can pull this up. Let me see. Where is the, oh, there's the green pencil worksheet. That's awesome. There it is. And enlarge that. Do, can you guys see that? Do you see the green pencil worksheet? Give me a happy face if you can see that on your screen. Did you enlarge that? You guys can print that down there at the bottom right-hand corner. That's the green pencil club level. Now, this week, we're working on the yellow pencil club level, okay? So let's uh, go back to the gorilla. And let's go ahead and get some more texture. I am just loving this guy. That is cool. And then all, all underneath the lip. See, the more you dark it, the more focused it becomes, the more detailed it becomes. Let's put a whole bunch more hair along here. Look at this. It's just more hair, more lines. And... It's just if you spend 20 minutes, a half hour on a drawing, then you can really make it go. Look at this. So draw this four times. Look at how many times I drew mine. Look at how many gorillas I have. Look at this. Look at these gorillas all over my desk. Look at I got gorillas. And then I got that gorilla. And we got that gorilla. Gorilla madness, you see. I want you to pick up your page in your sketchbook and just try it with a skinnier face, try it with a thicker face, just have some fun with it, okay? So I want to, I'm going to focus it if I can a little bit, I want to get more hair, I just can't stop you guys, I think I'll work on this for about three or four more minutes, and then we got to work on some yellow pencil club levels, okay? And let's focus it. There we go. All right. Well, then I'm going to pull this fur down. Pull, pull it down. I'm just using individual pencil lines now, pushing hard, trying to give more, uh, more of a furry texture and a little darker under the eyes. A little darker under the eyes. It just comes around here. Maybe a little more texture on the nose, nostril. And then let's use our stompy. And let's blend this out just a bit. Add a little more tone. I'm going to use my finger to get the cheeks and the lips and the ears. Cool. And there you go. Voila! Ooh -ya! Ooh -ooh 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 -ooh. What do you think? Half a face, medium face, sad face. How do you guys do on your little gorilla guy. Do you like that guy? Is that fun? All right. Well, uh, let's use the same paper now, and we're going to do this. We're going to practice up here, practice the yellow pencil club. Then I'm going to have the gorilla thinking. He's going to be thinking about it. And I'm going to tie this, and we're going to see how long it takes you. Then I'm going to show you level four. That's drawing uh, three high, three in, but you have to do three sections of this in five minutes. And then here's level five, which is drawing five high, no time limit with windows and doors on each level. So the uh, yellow pencil club level is really cool. So let's go on up here and let's start at, uh, in your, uh, remember there's 99, club, 99 levels of pencil power club success, okay? 99 levels of success and these are just, uh, and I broke them up like the karate has a white belt, yellow belt, brown belt, black belt. Well, we have the yellow pencil, the green pencil, the blue pencil, you put a dot above and below your finger, and it's inspired by uh, my teacher who taught me how to draw. Uh, he had levels of uh, achievement, and, uh, and then combined with the color levels of karate, I just think that's such a great idea to have some accountability. 
All right, so you have two dots far apart. Let's go ahead and draw the four shorts in square. Remember, this is the yellow pencil club level. I'm going to see if you can draw that by yourself in 60 seconds. And now, even if you think you can do it right now on your own, uh, draw it with me right now. Now, I'm going to use an index card. I have a stack of these little index cards, and I put this over the Gorilla because I like it. I don't want to smear it with my hand. So I'm going to put it as a shield to put my hand on it so I can draw. And we can use, uh, that way, we can use a whole sheet of paper, see? The middle line's longer. Now, don't go straight across. Don't go straight across. Go uphill to the right. Go uphill to the left. And then put a dot below the middle. Put a dot right below the middle. Turn the corner. Go uphill here to the right. Okay. Turn the corner. Go uphill to the left. And this cool. Now, careful. Not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Is that fun? Now, there's another foreshortened square. Now, remember, the drawing direction compass. See this? These are the... These are the directions artists use most often when they're drawing objects or environments or uh, characters. This is direction northeast, right? And then the, we have this direction here, which is direction northwest, right? Give me a happy face if you guys remember that. All right, give me a happy face if you can draw this by yourself right now, three high with shading in 60 seconds. All right, well, I just... Uh, I want to uh, just look at using guidelines above it. Look at now. I have to turn my paper. Every time I draw the yellow pencil club level, I've got to turn my paper to get it. All right, is that good? Now, right here, put a dot below the metal. Look at. I love my little gorilla guy. It looks like my brother. This thing looks exactly like my brother. <laughs> okay, go uphill to the right. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my paper because I got to go uphill to the left. Coming right up here to the left. And look at here. Uh, don't go to the corner. Go behind the corner. Don't go to the corner. Go behind the corner. Isn't that cool? And then go straight down on the left side, straight down the right side. The middle line is going to be longer. And go uphill to the right. Go uphill to the right. and then uphill to the left. Okay. And then we got to shade it. Now look at it. Let's use the direction lines. This this line coming down here, we know that this, using our drawing direction compass that you can print up down there at the bottom corner, drawing direction compass for reference. Um, this is direction south, west, and then we know this line coming down from here right into the gorilla is direction south, east. All right, so those are the four drawing direction compass. Uh, let's shade it. Okay, now go ahead and, uh, oops, someone's raising their hand. Go ahead and lower your hand for a second, you guys. Go ahead and lower your hand. I'm not going to open up the text box or I'm not going to open up chat. Just lower your hand and stay with me here. And then I'm going to time you guys in a second. I'm going to kind of start flying here. I want to pack, I want to get a lot done in the next 14 minutes. We're going to shade. Okay, now I'm going to crosshatch. That's, that's called uh, crosshatching because I'm crossing my lines. See that? I hatch single hatch going down. That's a little more about texture. Now see this line coming down here in southwest? Well, that's going to be our guideline for our shadow. And I need you to put shadows, too, in 60 seconds. All right, so if you're ready, get your, make sure you put a shadow on each of the decks. See that? Draw that guideline. Put a shadow. This, you, this is going to be very... It's like this right here, the shadow. See the shadow underneath between? See that? See that shadow here? See that shadow? See the shadow right here? See the shadow underneath the eyebrow? See the shadow? Shadows. You see the shadow under his lip right here? See the shadow under the nostril? See that? The shadows, see the shadows, you can never have enough shadows. Shadows, 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 shadows make your drawing cool. Okay, awesome. Now, time to, time to time it. Time to see if you can do it. Let's get the stopwatch. Give me a happy face if you're ready for the stopwatch. You guys ready? And, look, I'm getting all kinds of Twitter, but hey, did you guys all, did you guys all like my Facebook? Did you all like that? If you have to, 
uh, go to the newsletter and click that that button, or go to my website and click that button at the bottom. And did you, give me happy face if you see my Facebook page, Miss Stacy Van Drew, and my social media director. She'd sure be happy. I'm saying I want you to make sure you like my Facebook page. Would you guys do that? Would you like my Facebook page? That would be awesome. All right. Uh, uh, one second here. So I'm trying to get the stopwatch going here. Clock and stopwatch and reset. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put this right here. He's gonna be dreaming about it. Okay. So here's our block, and this guy, and the the it's gonna go this way. And he's going to be thinking about it. See, it's going to be going into his ear. See that? I'm going to draw this cool little. All right, you guys like that? See what I did? So I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to draw that the table in that area. Did you guys put a little text balloon? I love these fancy text balloons. That reminds me of this. I had fun on this text balloon on my Imagination Station book. When I was draw drawing this one, uh, see what I did on his text balloon? You see, you can draw. And I made the text balloon wrap around the pencil and the shadows on the pencil. This is in my Imagination Station book. Anybody have my Imagination Station book? Anybody have that book here? But I love that cover. Look at it. This is way before I had kids. You can tell because, look, I have no gray hair. <laughs> now, now I look like Grandpa. Kids later. All right, so here's... Uh, here we go. You guys ready? And uh, give me a face if you're ready. Before I push start, I'm going to push start. I'm going to give you one minute to do three high. Take a look one more time at our goal. Make sure you put those. And let's see if you can do it in one minute. And boom. So you got your two dots. Put your dot above below. Draw the four shorts and square. Okay. Line it up. Line it up. Put a dot below the middle. Now, why do I have a timed limit? I put a time limit because I want to build up your drawing instinct. I want to build up your drawing confidence. I want to build up your drawing enthusiasm. The ICE, remember ICE, I-C-E, instinct, confidence, and enthusiasm. So I'm going to go up here to the, it's okay to twist and turn your paper. I'm just not doing it because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to move the stopwatch off the screen. All right, now we got a shade, shade, shade. Don't forget the shadow. You have to put the shadow. Oh my goodness! Oh, I ran out of time. Shadow. Got to put the shadow. Shadow. Correct angle and stop. 107.7. Give me a happy face if you, uh, did you make it? Anybody make it in a minute? Anybody? See, I didn't make it. I, I, I missed it by 107. Well, that's something to practice. That's why if, you know, what did the guys say? The taxi cab driver in New York City to uh, one, uh, someone get in the car and ask the cab driver, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? And the taxi cab says, practice. Get it? Got to practice to, to master a skill. Well, let's go ahead and let's draw this this block here. And Sarah, Sarah has a comment. I'll open up the text box, and you guys can uh, draw. I'm gonna. I want this gorilla to be dreaming about the yellow pencil club. This is the yellow pencil club level, guys. Okay. So let's draw the text balloon and. 45 seconds. Wow, my, that's fine. You can make yours big or small. Now I'm going to explain to you the different levels here. Okay, let's put a little shadow under under the text balloon. Well, I want the gorilla dreaming about it. See, Isn't that fun. All right, that looks cool, you guys. That looks really cool. All right, now, awesome. Good job. Now up here, now on the top, let's let's put a little let's put a little uh, shadow here. The grill is dreaming about the yellow pencil club level. Now, so this is level one in 30 seconds. So you can write this above here. Okay, this is the yellow 
pencil club level all right that's the, the yellow pencil now this is level one right so level one I'm going to put it right here level one is uh, 60 seconds all right Let's circle that now level two I'll put it over here there's 60 seconds now level two you want to write this down level two is you're going to go three of these sets high uh, oops level two is five high because we just did it it's five high and I'm going to give you 90 seconds for that all right that's five high now post it please one second I'm going to lock it. I'm not, I can't keep up with your post. Uh, 50 seconds. I like bunnies. Please don't make it more time. I miss it. I keep practicing. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'd love to hear you guys' comments. All right. Now, level, level three is 10 high in 120 seconds in two minutes. Okay. Now level four, this is level four, look at, level four is uh, going out and in, and that's one section and doing it three sections high in five minutes, okay? Out and in, out, and I ran out of room. You need a really tall piece of paper for this one. But let's go ahead and practice it right here in the corner. But we'll just start it and we'll see how, how, how much we can get on there, okay? Move it out just a bit. So let's start up here and we'll go two dots. Okay, put your finger in the middle, put a dot above and below your finger. We'll start with level four. Draw the four short and square. Remember, there's 99 success levels I want you to build up through. By the time you get all 99 achieved and accomplished, you are going to rock. And look at Karen Little. Look at, she, she made me this, this really cool little award ribbon. Isn't that cool? That little sticker. Isn't that fun? And uh, she put it on a uh, really cool little pencil power sculpture. How many? Would anybody like a pencil power sticker like that? Isn't that neat? See how she made that? She made she made all these neat little award things, and we're going to figure out how we get those out to you guys. Stickers and magnets and uh, cool, cool things. All right, put a dot in the middle, and then we're going to go uphill. Okay, direction uh, northeast. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We've already done this three times, so we'll go fast. Not to the corner, go behind the corner. Not to the corner, go behind the corner. Come down, come down. Middle line's longer. Go uphill northeast. Uh, sometimes you have to turn the... Uh, go northwest. And put a dot below the middle. And go uphill to the right. Angle it, go uphill to the left. Don't go to the corner, go behind the corner. Don't go to the corner, go behind the corner. Now, okay, you did that. You guys got that, right? You give me a happy face if you have that. You got that? All right, now what I want to do, and now we got to uh, go in and finish one section. See, now. Use your guideline right here, see? Use your guideline. Come down here. Middle line's longer. Follow the guidelines. These are great for alignment. See how all these lines line up? Look at that. All They all line up. Look at this. You see how all these lines are practicing alignment. This is going to be really helpful for you interior decorators, you engineers, or you scientists, or you airplane designers, you car engineers, you toy designers, you... Kids who are going to be theatrical uh, uh, art directors. You're going to be designing the, the stages and the movie props and the TV sets. Uh oh, I did it wrong. Oh no, I was supposed to go in three times. Oops. Look at this. I did a variation. I didn't. I wasn't supposed to pop right out. Uh oh. I was supposed to. I'll do. I have to do it again. Oops. And sorry. Look, I'm not stopping. Don't give up. This now I forgot. Now I come in again. See, now you come in again. See, oops. All right. Well, there's there. We'll call that one section with a little extra bonus. All right. Right away, wherever you have an inset insert, let's put a sh dark shadow. Right away, let's do shadows first. For now on, let's always do that because shadows are so important. Let's put shadows. 
Let's put shadows. Wherever it goes in, put a shadow. Now, can you imagine doing this? That's just one unit, doing three units high, three sections high. So this is level four, okay, and it's three sections. This, this is one section, okay, and you have to stack it. Put a dot here, see, and then now you're off and running to set your next section. So then you have to do repeat it, right? Does that make sense? Give me a happy face if that makes sense. Going out three, coming in. That's one section or a unit. Here, what do you guys want to call it? Is it a section or is it a unit? Is it a component? Is it a piece? However you want to call it. I'll open the you tell me how you want to name it. As long as you get the general idea. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Sometimes I can't think of the right word, but you get the visual. And it's a unit, okay. Uh, uh, section. Mine looks bad. That's all right. I, you know what? I actually like it when you tell me that yours looks bad. That means that you're trying, you're pushing your comfort zone. And you'll try it again, and then next time it'll look better, and next time it'll look better, and look better, and better, and better, and better, and better, and better. And then I'll be going like this. And then I'll be going, whoa. Then I'll be going, you guys are so smart. You guys, so then you'll be going like this. Then be going, aha, aha. I'm gonna make the gorilla into a puppet. Oh, we should make a gorilla. We should make a gorilla uh, animated uh, paper animation, shouldn't we? Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, here, shade down here. Shade, shade, shade. Now look at here's a shadow. Got to put the shadow under here. All right, so now you have to do this. This is just one unit or one component, one capsule. Mine is crooked at the bottom. That's okay. Now, wait a minute. Did someone uh, post this one, please? You mean post the, uh, the lesson? Oh, I'll post it. Absolutely. Uh, it's being recorded. And if it's recorded, John Little post it. Hi, huh, John. John's up there. Give me a happy face, John. He's going to post it for you guys. He's watching. He's there. Hey, Hannah. All right, so there's level, there's level one, right? Then level two, right? Level two is five high. Level three is ten high. And then here's level four. I should, I can show you some really cool student drawings of this one. And then over here, here over here. Let's, uh, let me show you. Here, yeah, I'll, let me see if I can find a. I'll let this guy stare at you for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into my, uh, I gotta go into my. You can draw in 30 days book, and I want to show you a couple of student examples of when they, of kids who, uh, students who did this and did some really cool variations. Here's a, here's some variations that we'll be getting into. Okay, this is, this is getting down into level of, of the same, you know, stacking this. But combining, this is combining the orange uh, level and the uh, yellow level. Uh, here's uh, different variations of the yellow level. It's very cool. And then here's, uh, um, and then let's, let me show you level five now. Ready? We'll do it at the bottom of this page. Here's what we're going to shoot for. Uh, we're going to do five high. We're going to do five steps high, but put one window, two windows, three windows, four windows, five windows on each level. There's no time limit on this one. There's no time. I'll put two dots far apart. Put a dot above below your finger. Draw a nice, keep those two lines squished together. Keep it foreshortened. And now, I don't know if I'll have time to do five because I'm going to run out of room and run out of time. But we'll do a few and put windows. Remember the thickness. Now, on this one, this is practicing the thickness. Put a dot below the middle. Go out. We're going to put windows now for you architects. Now, not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Okay. And I want to put a nice thick area for windows. So I'm going to make these a little thicker. And then put a dot right here. Go uphill to the right direction, northeast, northwest. Put a dot. Now, from here, you're going to go out past again. And look, at I've done this thousands of times, and I still enjoy the challenge. I still enjoy the challenge of right now. Not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Now look at this. Not to the corner. I should, sometimes I'm turning. See, I'm turning my paper in order to get these lines to line up. All right. Well, there's our uh, there's our table coming down here. Now first up here, I'm going to follow the lines already drawn. 
Right, let's draw the window. Now next week we're going to be drawing the uh, orange pepper club level, and we're going to be drawing the gingerbread, the gingerbread people, and it's going to be really cool. What do you guys? Let me show you a picture of them. They're inspired from from this book right here. And we're going to do a whole whole bunch of these people in different positions. We're going to practice thickness. So let me show you this. It's I J. Uh, G. Here it is. There's Gorilla. There's the Gnome. And here's a gingerbread guy. So here's just one gingerbread guy, but we're going to draw a whole bunch of them, like in a uh, dancing and jumping around. And I have I have one. Oh, you know what? Let me show you. I got another uh, gingerbread image. Hold on a second here. First of all, do you guys like that idea? Okay, here, I've got to take my mic off. Just one second. I know in the Draw Squad book, I don't know, anybody have this book right here? Anybody have my Draw Squad book? Well, I know in the Draw Squad book, I have a really cool. Uh, gingerbread guy. Look at that. would be fun to see the thickness is what's so handy. So let me find it here. It's uh, let me find the gingerbread. There it is. Look at look at the gingerbread guy. See he's dancing. Isn't that funny? Hey, I'm back. I'm the coolest singing dancing gingerbread man. He's a dancing gingerbread guy. Isn't that funny? What, what do you guys think of that? Happy face, sad face, bleeding face. What do you think? Push focus again. I can't seem to get it to focus any better than that, guys. Let's try it one more time like that. There we go. Look at that guy. Now, let me see if I can find. I've got a really cool uh, lesson. And here is. Let me see if I can find it here. Well, then that, if I don't find it in the next second, then we know that's a good one for me to use later. Maybe let me look in the front. Maybe I can see it in the front. I haven't looked in this book in a long time. I wrote that many years ago. All right, well, so um, there is our, our theme for next week, the Orange Pencil Club and the Gingerbread Guy. Maybe the Gingerbread Guys are going to be jumping down, and maybe they're going to be doing some hip-hop street dancing on the pile of cubes. Give me a happy face, medium face, sad face for gingerbread for gingerbread crazy guys next week. What do you guys think? Cool. All right, now, uh, on this one, oh, I'm almost out of time. Let's go uphill. I'm going to put two windows on this one. And this is our second layer down here, so I want to put two windows. Follow the lines you've already drawn. The near window is larger, and the far window gets smaller. Now remember, now here comes the thickness rule. This is all about thickness. The window's on the right side right here. So let's put the thickness on the right side right there. Darken the inside. Put a little shading on the inside of that one. Now look at this. The window over here is on the left side. So the thickness now is on the left side. This thickness goes uphill in direction northeast. It comes across and color in. So congratulations, you guys. You did an excellent lesson. We covered a lot of ground on that one, didn't we? Give me a happy face if you like that one. You guys enjoy that lesson? I'm going to do a survey. I want to see how you guys did on that one. Let me uh, put this thickness here. So this is level four, and you got to do this. Level four is doing a stacking these up five. You can do a level four uh, bonus. Maybe we'll just call it level four epic level. Epic four would be doing 15 high and making all windows. Here's the right. So the thickness switches. Thickness switches on this one. And then get it dark. Well, I know we're over time, but I just can't stop. It's just so cool. Isn't this cool, you guys? Don't you love it? Love it, love it, love it. See, I just, I, I think these 99 pencil club levels are so important to practice in your journal every week. Now, you can just draw the tops of these windows, okay? So there's, the, it's larger, gets smaller, and then smaller still. See, I, I do the whole thing. Follow the lines you've already drawn. The near, the near window is going to be larger. 
second uh, window is going to be smaller and the third window is going to be smaller still and there you got the beginning of it okay now let's we got to shade the side got to shade away from the sun we'll keep the sun over on the right seems like whenever I draw anything the sun's over on the right right I've been stuck in a time warp since I've been in second grade right well, this one, we'll, we will post this one for sure. This lesson will be posted, so you can go back over and over and over again, okay? Practice. And uh, shade inside here, and so there you go. Excellent job there, my fine artist. And there is your lesson page. That, that was a very busy hour. Way to go, guys. I'll pull it up so we can see just the, just a bit, a little bit of all the, squares and the cubes good job way to go guys thanks for drawing with me today maybe i'll see you tonight at uh, uh tonight's lesson is seven o'clock tonight uh let me open up the text box so you guys can all say goodbye to each other let's take one more look at the map and see if uh we had any uh, uh buddy come in from europe and or asia or australia no nope, that'll probably be tonight and so it's great to have all you North Americans up here in the United States and Canada drawing with me. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for drawing with me, guys. Bye.